What is Kings? 13.1 And see a man of Elohim went from Yehuda to Beth El by the word of Ahiah while Yeroboam was standing by the altar to burn incense. Okay. This man of Elohim went from Yehuda to Bethel by the word of Ahiah. This is a prophet. And he's going as he was sent by the word of Elohim, Ahiah, our father. Look at verse 5. Same chapter. And the altar was split apart, and the ashes poured out from the altar, according to the sign which the man of Elohim had given by the word of Ahiah. By the word of Ahiah. Go now to Yermi, uh, pardon me, Jeremiah 47.1. The word of Ahiah that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the Philistines before Pharaoh smote Azza. Back to 1 Kings 16 and 1. Then the word of Ahiah came to Yehu, son of Hanani, against Baasha, saying, Turn now to um, Jeremiah 33, 1. came to Jeremiah a second time while he was still shut up in the court of the guard saying so we find in all these references that this word of Elohim Ahiah is moving uh, according to the command of our father Ahiah and doing the work um, Let's now contrast those scriptures with Exodus, Exodus 3, 7. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. And Ahiah said, I have indeed seen the oppression of my people who are in Mitzrayim, and have heard their cry because of their slave drivers, for I know their sorrow. The scripture says that Ahiah said, this is not him sending his word out to use the prophets to give a message on his behalf. The father himself is speaking and saying these words. Look at Chapter 4, Exodus 4, and verse 2. And Ahiah said to him, What is that in your hand? And he said, A rod. Again, the father, Ahiah says, Go back now to Zechariah, Zechariah 8 and 1. see again, it's the word of Ahiah that is coming to the prophet and giving the word, giving the message. Let's look at the spirit of Ahiah now. Look at Judges 13.25. Even before you go there, you can go to Genesis 
get Judges 13, 25, go there and go to Genesis 2, uh, pardon me, Genesis 1, verse 2. Genesis 1, verse 2. Read. And the earth came to be formless and empty, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of Elohim was moving on the face of the waters. The spirit of Elohim was moving on the face of the waters from at the very beginning. So Judges 13.25 now. And the spirit of Ahia began to move him at Mahane, Dan, between Sora and Eshtol. There again, the spirit of Ahia is moving. Look at 1 Kings 18.12. 1 Kings 18, verse 12. And it shall be as, as I am gone from you, that the spirit of Ahia takes you away to a place I do not know. And I shall come to report to Ahab, and when he does not find you, he shall kill me. But I, your servant, have fared a higher from my youth. So these verses have shown us already the, the three aspects of the Most High, as Father, Son, or Father Word, rather. Father, the Word, and the Spirit in one unified being as it was before sin came into the world. This is who the, 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 the creator Elohim was, and so he created man, as you see man now, one unified being, spirit, soul, and body. I think that's clear. Look again, however, at John 14, John chapter 14 in the New Testament, Verse 16. 